to complete the square, we are going to divide all through by 2. Next, 2, we take away 2. And we are now left with x squared minus 5x over 2 minus 3 over 2. 0 divided by 2 is 0. Next step, we are going to take the constant, which is minus 3 over 2. The constant is the number without x. And we are going to move it to the other side. It will become 3 over 2. These are the steps we must follow when we are applying completing the square method. Next, we are going to complete the square by taking the coefficient of x, which is minus 5 over 2. We are going to multiply this by 1 over 2. Then, we are going to square this. This is completing the square. We complete the square when we take the coefficient of x, multiply it by 1 over 2, and square everything together. Now, you have minus 5 over 4, all squared. Next, we are going to add this completed square to both sides of the equation. The next step is x is having squared here and minus 5 over 4 also have square at the top. I will bring this x out with the square then the minus 5 over 4 also have square. I will put both of them together and square it. We have factorized everything we have here. If you open up this bracket, you are going to get everything here back. That is, if you open up x minus 5 over 4 twice, x minus 5 over 4. If you expand this bracket, you will get this back x times x will give you x squared x multiply minus 5 over 4 will give you minus 5 over 4 multiplied by x will give you minus 5x over 4 minus times minus will give you plus and you're going to have 5 over 4 all squared this is now x squared minus 5x over 4 minus 5x over 4 we give you a minus 2 5x over 4 plus 5 over 4 all squared. This is 1 and this is 2. And we're going to have x squared minus 5x over 2. We have 2 remaining here plus 5 over 4 all squared. Remember, when you have minus 2 squared and plus 2 squared, both will give you 4. In mathematics, inside this bracket, we can have plus or minus. You can see that this actually gave us this back. Everything on this left-hand side is compressed to this. On the other side of the equal sign, we have 3 over 2 plus minus 5 times minus 5 will give you 25. And 4 times 4 we give you 16. Next, here we have x minus 5 over 4 in bracket squared. And on the other side, 16 multiply by 3. You are going to get 48. This is plus. Next, 2 will multiply 25. You are going to get 50. Next, 2 multiply by 16 at the denominator you are going to get next on this side 48 plus 50 will give you 98 over 2 we go here 49 and 2 we go here 16 and now we are left with 49 over 16 next this square will move and become plus or minus square root of 49 over 16. The plus or minus is because a perfect square root can be plus or can be minus. 
for example minus 4 squared will give you 16 and plus 4 squared will also give you 16 so how are we sure if it is the minus of the 4 that gave us 16 or if it is the plus that gave us 16 hence we are going to say plus or minus square root of 16 because at the end we are going to get 4 that's why in quadratic equations and quadratic functions we normally use plus or minus now our aim is to make x the subject this minus 5 over 4 on the other side will become 5 over 4 the square root of 49 is 7 and the square root of 16 is 4 next for x1 we're going to have 5 over 4 plus 7 over 4 and for x2 we're going to have 5 over 4 minus 7 over 4 next because these four are the same i will just take only one four at the denominator i will add the numerators which is 5 plus 7 and i will have 12. here because the four is the same i will take just one four five minus seven is minus two here x1 is three and here x2 is minus one over two 